but it's really important to understand that, that we all arrive here to this very moment because other people stood behind us and pushed us forward because they're able to see whatever little light there is inside of you they know how to make it shine and make it bright so that you can get out there and be able to do whatever it is that you envision in your mind that you want to do. On Saturday, September 28, the Chapman Visiting Scholars Series returned for its fourth year with Dr. Michael Estrada's presentation on becoming a physician assistant. Dr. Estrada, the founding director of Chapman University's Physician Assistant Studies Program, started by sharing his story with the Nicholas Academic Center students. I'm a first generation uh, college graduate from my family, and my family comes from Mexico, um, from Sonora, Mexico, is where I'm from. Um, and I was born and raised in East Los Angeles. My grandmother worked two jobs, my mother worked two jobs. They used to iron clothes and mend clothes for people that, that needed that. They worked at the local church ironing clothes for all the clergy people and all the nuns and everything. So they made ends meet. But they worked in a hospital. And I think that that was the first time that I ever got that vision of what it is that I wanted to do. Though Dr. Estrada's family supported his pursuit of higher education, decisions about attending school and taking advantage of job opportunities didn't come easy. And I had an old grandma, old abuelita, my nana, and my mom. And here I was entertaining the thought of taking a job that was 500 miles away. And that's hard, thinking about that, leaving your family. But I knew that it was an opportunity, and if I didn't take that opportunity and I didn't take that chance, that I may not have another opportunity like that. While on duty as an EMT in Soledad, Dr. Estrada first encountered a physician assistant in action. It was phenomenal what he did. I mean, he put in these chest tubes and he put in lines and he just did, you know, central lines and blood. It was just incredible. The man had a chance at life. And after he was doing that for about five minutes, the police officer walks in and he says, the team is coming. And I went, what do you mean the team is coming? Well, who's this guy? <laughs> so talking later on, they take him away. I look at this guy and I said, well then, if that's the team, then who are you? <laughs> he goes, oh, my name is Gene. I'm all, Gene? Eugene Diaz. That was incredible. What, 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 what are you, a doctor? That was incredible. Oh, no, 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 I'm not a doctor. He's like, I'm a PA. I'm a physician assistant. And I said, what is a physician assistant? Because I want to do that. <laughs> Eventually, Dr. Estrada earned a place in the PA program at USC, where he later earned his master's degree. He realized his true calling, however, while working in the ER. After witnessing widespread cultural disparities in the hospital setting, Dr. Estrada realized that he could use his skills and personal background to better educate his patients as well as others working in the health profession. There was a whole other world, culturally, belief system, that everybody wasn't aware of, except for me, or at least I thought I was aware of it. But until that day, it didn't really hit me until I thought, how many other people out there in this world are suffering from this? For the second half of the presentation, Dr. Estrada put the students through a mini PA school, stressing the importance of becoming better observers to in turn give better diagnoses. In groups, students chose a group leader and a historian, and they worked out a diagnosis and developed a recovery plan. Um, today, after the lecture, we had to diagnose a student, a 16-year-old high school student, because he had a stomach ache. And what we diagnosed was he was suffering from stress and to relieve that stress we decided that he should create better study habits for himself. The thing that I liked about this presentation is how he taught us like um, about his story and about his like life and how he got to this point where he is now. And although I don't want to like really pursue this dream, it really inspired me to follow my dreams like he did his. This opened my eyes as to that there are different possibilities into what I can do to help people. It's not going to be easy. 
And the good things in life, cuestan, cuestan mucho. But don't get discouraged. Because someday, you're going to be standing up here presenting to them. Since the Chapman Visiting Scholar Series was established in 2010, hundreds of Santa Ana Unified School District students have been exposed to a collegiate environment through lectures such as the one presented by Dr. Estrada. This lecture series is made possible through the partnership between Chapman University and the Nicholas Academic Centers.